how to find gold in Arizona. Or perhaps I should say how to find more gold in Arizona. Now this is made for the uh, new prospector and hopefully you'll learn or get some tips here to make yourself more productive. Now we're out in the uh, San Domingo Placer area which is just about 40 miles west of downtown Phoenix. Uh, it's a BLM basically but there's also private areas and I should say if you're thinking of going out there do your research there most of it is claimed up and uh, there are a lot of uh, clubs in town that have claims out there and a club is probably your best way for getting into prospecting meeting other prospectors and learning a hell of a lot rather than just going out and try and learn a new hobby all on your own but now with that said we're basically into gold metal detecting and uh, Mike and myself uh, have been doing a lot of uh, metal detecting in this area now Mike found five large nuggets in a relatively small wash maybe an area 150 feet long and then in another wash Mike also found some more nuggets and I found my largest nugget of the year a two and a quarter gram nugget that I'm showing here uh, sometime after that now I, I should say this area is not known for nuggets that size most of the nuggets are, are a fraction of a gram so these are highly unusual and I just thought well wait a minute if we're finding this many nuggets in this small area perhaps we should think about dry washing or sampling this area to see if there's some tiny gold now keep in mind most gold is mined as gold dust very fine gold and then naturally it's refined and melted down into your cougarans maple leaves etc uh, and it's uh, highly unusual to find nuggets and actually the bigger the nugget the rarer it is and they always command a, a good premium over just plain gold dust so with that said here's an actual photo of the five nuggets that Mike found in this one area the largest one there being about three quarters of an ounce if you can believe it here's a picture of the three largest ones so you can see now uh, here comes a picture of the uh, two and a quarter gram nugget that I found so basically uh, in order to do this as productive as possible we decided to test the areas and um, we had two areas these two areas where we found the large nuggets and a third area where a fellow prospector mentioned to me that he had found a decent sized nugget and a lot of fine gold actually that third area was on a local club claim that Mike is a member of so with that said we decided to take three samples and basically very simplistic we would take a five gallon bucket and fill it up with material about three quarters of the way full all we did to this material is just screen it down to a half inch and that was it we brought the material back and I ran it through this sluice and then I panned out the concentrates from there and here's some pictures of what we found here's a picture of what we found in the uh, first location where Mike found those five nuggets now this other picture is in the second wash where Mike also found a number of nuggets and I found my largest one and you could see so both these areas as I was thinking did have gold in them and then we decided before we start to do any work and it takes a lot you got to bring your equipment out there the dry washer pails shovels etc and it's a lot of hard work let's get the see what the samples are and which samples showed the best gold that's the place that we would set up and and dry wash uh, now unfortunately we didn't have the opportunity to take the third sample we did have the opportunity to go out there and uh, since we were there 
we decided to dry wash it without having taken the sample. That was a mistake. And uh, so we put in two hours of dry washing, and this is the results of the two hours worth of work. Uh, personally, I didn't think it was uh, worth the time that we put in uh, to get that little gold. Other people had commented when I posted the pictures on some forums that that was typical for the area. Now, I should say, since we were out there anyway, I figured I'd do the same thing and take that third sample, even though we had already dry washed, just so we can have the comparison. So I did that, same way, three quarters of a five gallon bucket and just classify to a half inch, bring it back home, run it through the sluice, and here's a picture of what we found there. Now, when you compare the three sample locations, as you can see here, if we would have done the test in the third location where we actually did dry washing, we would have never gone there to dry wash because we would have seen it was, it was the poorest of the three samples that we took. So long story made short, and I appreciate everybody hanging in there with me on this, is that if you really want to be more productive in uh, your prospecting, uh, sample, sample, sample. Because otherwise, if you set up your equipment, sure, you're going to find gold. But, uh, well, hopefully you'll find gold. But are you being as productive as you can when you're out there? That's the question. So if you sample, you can determine that question uh, and save yourself a lot of time and bring back a lot more gold. Now, we are going back to the area uh, where Mike found those five nuggets, our uh, test sample area number one and we're going to dry wash we're going to put in uh, at least two hours worth of dry washing so we can compare it to uh, our last dry washing experience uh, at area number test area number three uh, so what we'll do is we'll uh, uh, do a cleanup of the dry washer after two hours so we have a comparison but since we're it's, it's a tough area to get to and ha bring all the equipment. Since we're gonna be there, we'll probably put in uh, at least four hours worth of work uh, and um, uh, see what the results are. And I'm sure, just from looking at the samples, that we're gonna find at least four or five times the amount of gold we found already here in the, uh, in the third sample area. But we'll see, and uh, if you wanna see, uh, subscribe to this channel. And stay tuned, in a couple of weeks we'll have the answer, or we'll see if I'm correct in how much gold we do find in that test area number one. Hey, thanks for hanging in there. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.